what I call emotional computing is going to come from the possibility of machines understanding human expression and human interaction, not only uh, through conversational interfaces in speech recognition that I described before, but understanding our emotions as well. And this is going to convey a very important new layer of value of how uh, uh, a manager talks to uh, his or her uh, reports of how uh, we uh, uh, express the subtext and the context of uh, the meaning of, of our communication and we are going to be measured and we are going to be uh, also uh, understood based, based on this. Uh, machines are not only going to be able to um, uh, to decode emotions and uh, many of you smiling at uh, seeing this video are uh, exactly demonstrating how machines are going to be able to write emotions as well. Your positive reaction to those computer generated images are a desired reaction to the creator, uh, of the creator. And uh, Facebook uh, uh, very famously ran uh, an experiment uh, a few years ago uh, where for a few hundred thousand people, on purpose, they altered the algorithms to mostly display negative postings from their connections, from their Facebook friends, and another group mostly received positive postings from uh, their friends because they wanted to check whether the people exposed to negative news would also themselves write negative uh, uh, type comments and on uh, the contrary people who were exposed to positive news would write positive comments and this is intuitively understandable and yes it was the case and a lot of uh, the, the, the scandal around this experiment came from the fact that they did not um, sufficiently disclose it uh, and or whether they did um, but the the basic fact uh, is I think unavoidable uh, human machine communications always require filtering uh, the data that machines are collecting is uh, th these sets of data are so large that it is impossible for people to absorb them in their totality. So we will be and we are already only exposed to a fraction of that data which can be chosen at random a sampling of the data and then we are the ones who have to make up our minds of what is their meaning or the machines themselves choose the data that we have to be exposed to and then there has to be a reason for that choice which is what Facebook is already doing regardless of these experiments because we only see a fraction of the posts of our friends on Facebook otherwise the wall would be scrolling so fast that we wouldn't be able to read even what, uh, what is being written. And you can easily imagine some thought experiments uh, uh, of, of applications of this. Uh, our smartwatches, and today few people have them, but uh, in a few years uh, all of us uh, will be persuaded that they are necessary, um, will be measuring our heartbeat. And so when the heartbeat increases unexplainably because uh, we are sitting at our desk, the smartwatch will look at the calendar and see that there is a phone call that is upcoming with uh, our boss. And it will say, hmm, let's see if I can do something about it. And it will start playing a soothing song that calms you in preparation of the call. And it will see that effectively the uh, heartbeat uh, goes down. We are calmer than before. We take the call and the call goes well because in our calendar something appears for next week rather than being fired. So uh, this is just a little thought experiment of putting, putting these uh, components together that can already be, already be if done. If a person sways his head like this, it means maybe or may not be. Mm -hmm. Did you delete the browser history? 
You did. You did. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I included this uh, example uh, as a, a clear uh, illustration that yes, we have cultural universals, but we also have huge variations in these cultural universals of how humans communicate meaning and also how humans communicate nuances in their emotional state. Uh, it is pretty uh, well understood that in uh, uh, Asian cultures people are uh, less prone in expressing negative responses uh, as, as in, the, in the West. So it is harder to have somebody say no. People will not say no. But still, uh, when we automate uh, and we delegate to machines the understanding of meaning, it is going to be essential to be able to uh, gleam out of uh, the subtext that no, which is implicit, but it is still there because, of course, two teams both in the same culture perfectly understand that the smile and the nodding still means no. <laughs>